Uh, morning everyone, welcome to another uh, behind the scenes live. Um, today we're out and about um, on Tobermory Harbour pontoons um, doing a plankton trawl with Professor Plankton. Um, so Andy has been volunteering at the aquarium for many years. Um, he goes out every single morning, way before um, I'm even awake, uh, does a little plankton trawl um, and puts the plankton uh, under the microscopes in the aquarium for you guys to see. Um, so I'm going to follow him um, at the pontoons. Um, what he's doing is he's got uh, a fine mesh net uh, at the end of the pole there. Um, it's uh, really, really tiny, uh, 250 microns. Um, so it's a really, really fine mesh net, perfectly designed for catching the microscopic life in the water. He drags it up and down the pontoon, nice and slowly, making sure he gets uh, all the plankton collecting in the net. The net is a cone shape um, with a little collecting pot at the end. So it funnels all of the plankton, all of the animals, right down to the collecting pot at the end. Um, when he's done his trawl, so I just nip past you, um, he has these little bottles. Yeah. Um, so when he's done his trawl, he'll empty the little collecting pot um, and use this special uh, water bottle to wash it out into these jars um, and then takes it back up to the aquarium to analyse. Um, now the plankton that he's getting is really important. Uh, it's actually a really nice way to kind of find out what's happening in the bay. Um, so just now we've got a massive plankton bloom happening. There's loads of copepods in the aquarium. We can actually see them with the naked eye on the front of the tanks. Copepods are an amazing little animal. They stay as plankton for their entire lives. Um, they uh, never grow up into anything else. Other plankton turns into other animals. Um, these copepods are the source of our um, omega-3. So if you uh, kind of take omega-3 supplements fish oil, um, that's where it's coming from, these copepods. Um, copepods are also the fastest animal on the planet in relation to size. Um, if they were the size of a cheetah, they would swim a thousand miles an hour. So that's pretty cool. Um, that is the kind of animal that Andy is catching. So let's have a brief look. He's, he's slowly making his way back to us now with his plankton there. And it's just started to rain. So what we're going to do is I'm going to end this video. We're going to let Andy finish his trawl over there um, and check back in with us in five or ten minutes. And um, we'll be in the aquarium having a look at what he's caught on this trawl. See you in a minute.